And now we're getting a big update as far as this case is concerned. The NIA has now got 10-day custody of the accused. Remember, two main accused in the Bengaluru Rameshwaram Cafe last case were arrested from West Bengal's Higa yesterday by the NIA. Today, they were presented in the court in Bengaluru where NIA sought 10-day custody of the accused. And in fact, NIA has now got 10-day custody of these accused. CNN News 18's editor is Kamalika Sen Gupta is now joining us on the story. Kamalika, now what lies next for these accused now that the NIA has secured 10 day custody of them? They will uh, interrogate all that this mastermind and also the co accused along with this mastermind that you know what was their motive and what was the module and also that you know where are the places where they, are, are the other people that are also involved in this in this blast and what is the modus operandi through which they uh, actually operated and the most mm -hmm. important thing obviously is they will obviously trail the time when they were actually absconding where are the places which are the places they went and what was the actual plan that all these things will be investigated and that is where this 10 days of prayer has been sought and for which they have got this 10 days uh, 10 days custody they're going to grill them and to get the motive that they will try to find out and also who are the other people who are also involved in this in this entire case that will definitely be investigated also kamalika throw some light on how these two accused managed to evade the arrest for 42 days yeah that's a very big question and the way they were like hiding themselves like we went to three hotels where in kolkata they were putting up and they told the hotel owners and the hotel, I mean the hotel workers, that they are uh, the tourists from Maharashtra and Karnataka. They had fake IDs. And they changed hotel and changed their names. So uh, it was really a very, um, very, very uh, top secret operation which the NIA along with the state forces did. But at the same time, <clears throat> after so many days, they were actually nabbed. That is also a question, but the fact is they were using various fake IDs and various fake identities. There where it was a problem. <laughs> they were almost, they changed seven to eight SIM cards. That's what we are also getting from our sources. So changing SIM cards continuously, changing identity continuously, all these things actually, they were actually working on all these things. 